It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Jackson, first play, going to throw. And incomplete to open things up. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now it's Jackson. Dancing to his left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Second and nine from the 44. Here's Jackson to throw. He's got it complete, Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 24-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Finds his man over the middle. It's likely. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. A nice gain there to his trusty tight end, and now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering him. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. There on the stop was Leo Chanel. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's a second and eight. Jackson now. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Rashad Bateman. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc.
Let's go, fellas. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll leave them with a third and two. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Yeah, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this will be caught by Brown. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Jackson on first down. That's complete. It's Zay Flowers with it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Second down, they go again with Henry. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A handoff running left, Henry. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. To throw is Jackson. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He scored their touchdown earlier, and this had a chance to be another. This secondary scrambling for answers, looking at each other, trying to figure out who is going to put the clamps on this guy, because right now, he's absolutely shredding them. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here's Jackson. This is caught. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Henry. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the... Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Isaiah Likely from a yard out. And the Ravens' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Let's 
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They fake the give, now Mahomes. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. When you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just now supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. On first and 10, it's Jackson. A short one there, caught by Likely. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. A Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. 
Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. A little short one there, caught by Likely. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down and six now from the 26. Jackson. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Now Jackson. Now that's to the left sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And the half will begin with a touchback. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look <laughs> of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Now Mahomes' throw complete to his tight end, Kelsey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. 
They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And a hard-working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey from 17 yards out. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And it's 17-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Second down and six now. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. Well, you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Derek Henry all alone. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook. They can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. Now he's loose down the left sideline, and he's finally down at the 21-yard line. 78 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. He had been held in check. Now he breaks that big run, shows the explosiveness we all knew was there. All right, tell the truth now. You knew it was just a matter of time, matter didn't of you? Time. We've seen this so many times from him. Hold him down, hold him down, and then breaks out. Jackson throwing complete there to Flowers. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Here's Jackson to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now it's Jackson. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Well, he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They'll give Henry another shot. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal from the two. Try to punch it in with Henry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry. Taking it in from two yards out. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. You think back to some of the great goal line bruisers of the past, the Earl Campbells, the John Riggins, the Marshawn Lynches. I think you can put Derrick Henry right in that group as he scores there with another patented Derrick Henry run. Tucker with the extra point, And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. On first down, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Mahomes going to throw. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. They'll start with the option. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. 
One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. Here's second and seven. It's the Ravens in control of the football. They've also got the lead as we get set for the fourth. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now second and five. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they were very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. That is caught, and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. Well, they've certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Mahomes firing complete, and he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 30. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league... A loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Mahomes to throw once more. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to... And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes taking it in from four yards out. And the Chiefs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And the busy night for Henry continues. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. This offensive line starting to win up front. You win that battle in the trenches, you can kind of wear them down here late. So you bring in the second part to that equation, and that's the big running back, the big bruiser, who can get more than what's blocked and break a few extra tackles and gain yardage. They keep it with Henry on first down. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Henry. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Jackson going to run. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. They'll run. It's Henry. And he has the Ravens first down, and it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. It's a pickup of two, and that's good enough to just about right a finish to this one. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And this win was impressive, Charles. And look, they were honest with us this week. They had this game circled on the calendar for quite a while, coming in and taking down the reigning Super Bowl champions. And you and I both know from experience that having the title reigning Super Bowl champs is a blessing, but a curse when the next season begins, right? Because everyone circles that game on their schedule. They can't wait to come.